A prominent member of the Rastafarian community in St. Kitts believes there is much more to be done to the legislation that should pave the way for the establishment of a cannabis industry in St. Kitts and Nevis. Ras Sankofa, who successfully sued the government for his right to use marijuana in the confines of his home, believes the slew of legislation passed earlier this year to provide limited usage of marijuana while expunging the criminal record of those who would have been arrested in the past on ganja charges does not go far enough. There's a lot of things luckily, things that we have to discuss. We have to go back to the table because they're not sure exactly how to deal with the herb. Because when you're dealing with herb for, 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 for eating and drinking now, there's certain, to me, the studies that they will have to see to see how does that affect the physiological aspect of the human body because smoking weed is different than eating herb. It goes, it's a different, that goes straight to your bloodstream. So the reaction from that is way different than smoking. So while they think they could understand the smoking of the herb, they still don't have enough science dealing with the physiology of the herb. So certain cell studies need to go forward in that respect there, but they also need other studies, uh, 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 other things put in place so that I and I can benefit from the herb. We need to benefit from it. So it cannot be just an overseas person coming to try to benefit. We need to be able to benefit from the trade of marijuana as well, whether it's going to be trade inside the country or the trade outside the country. Sankova believes some of the punitive measures in the amended legislation is still too stringent. If you walk past a, a, school, a school, not knowing that you have herb in your pocket and you was arrested, you're still viable for um, $50,000 worth of fines. And if you found close to like um, um, a daycare centre, or any of those type of places in a private environment, you also have these high fines. So even though they was trying to be stringent on us in respect to dealing it with, with it around children, we thought that the, the fines were still too excessive. And so we were trying to negotiate with the government in respect to that. But they told us that they have a committee in place and that they would come back again in the future with a better and more and more inclusive program which will deal with medical marijuana and other, other aspects of the marijuana itself. Meanwhile, Ras Sankofa is of the view that while the amended legislation allows for private use of marijuana of a certain quantity, he is also mindful of not infringing the rights of others who do not favor the smoking of marijuana. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to offend anyone if I'm smoking herbs. So I would agree with any, any legislation that would like, in, in a public place that that a one would really have to limit or uh, even move aside to protect another one who don't really engage in that and he might aff offend them or make them feel bad. That's the teaching of the Almighty. If something that you do offend others, then you refrain from doing it even for the sake of the other person. You, for example, smoking the herb and next door someone who don't even smoke in you and they're smelling it. Inside their house? Inside their house. And he's offending them? Yeah. Them, 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 them things they're gonna hard to um, hard to think. I think it's just gonna be just like anything else. Somebody might have fouls wearing in the yard, and this this center is offending you. You, you, you might. The best thing is to speak to the person about it, and you and that person come to some common understanding, so that if if I know I'm offending you, and I buy this particular window, I can move and go by the seaside or go somewhere else. I think these are things that two reasonable person who believe in the Almighty who come together and, and make a, a understanding rather than a quarrel. Ras Sankofa was arrested in 2012 at his home in Dia Bay for marijuana use. He eventually pursued his legal defense on his own with little help from attorneys. The court had ruled that Rastafarians and users of marijuana have a right to smoke in the privacy of their home. The legislation passed in the National Assembly early this year prohibits public smoking of marijuana. Smoking can be done in the private settings or places of worship, and individuals can only be in possession of a small quantity. Andre Huey, SKN Newsline.